back to my channel Gabba Bedic, and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about insulin pens. If you watch my channel you know that I've been using insulin pens since I was first diagnosed in 2008. So I have used quite a few different insulin pens, in particular Novo pens. So I feel it would be a good idea to do this video to go through the history of the Novo pen and any other insulin pens, talk about how the features changed over the years, show you the different pens I have and show you where we are today with the evolution of smart pens. I hope you like the video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And let's get started talking about all of the different insulin pens. Lana is sitting there too, getting her insulin pen knowledge, lol. I have a whole range of pens here to go through and show you. But first, I'm gonna talk about the pens I don't have, which are the very original Novo pens. So the first Novo pen that I can actually show you here today is Novo Pen 3. But we're just gonna talk about the previous pens before that. And for anyone who doesn't know what an insulin pen is, basically you have a device that you can put an insulin vial inside of, attach a needle to, and that's how you can inject your insulin. It's an advancement on the original syringes and vials that diabetics had to use to inject insulin. They're much more discreet, much more easier, and they have a lot more functions now than they had before. So they're a really, really great invention. But Novo pens are made by the company Novo Nordisk, and the very first insulin pen was manufactured in Denmark in 1985. So before that, people would have been using, I guess, syringes and vials. So 1985 doesn't feel so long ago for the first insulin pen. This is how it looked, and when you see the different designs today, you'll see that this is the very basic form. This is the OG where everything came from. Obviously, I don't have Novo Pen 1 or Novo Pen 2 that I'm going to talk about to show you because I wasn't diabetic or even alive then, so that's why. Novo Pen 2 was then released in 1989, and even in that short period of time, there was an advancement made, and this was that you could increase the max dose of the pen to 36 units. I'm not sure what it was for Novo Pen 1, but for Novo Pen 2, I do know that they did increase the maximum dose you could take to 36 units in one go. Now, we're going to move on to Novo Pen 3. So I start to have some pens I can actually show you from now. So Novo Pen 3 was first made in 1992. And the big change here was the maximum dose increase. Like I said before, it was 36 units that you could take in one go. For Novo Pen 3, this increased almost double, I guess, to 70 units which is a massive increase. Novo Pen 3 that starts to kind of get that classic, sleek Novo Pen design. Before that, the first Novo Pen 1 and 2, they didn't really look like the Novo Pens that are out now, but you can see from Novo Pen 3 onwards where the kind of design developed from. Now, this brings me on to the first pen that I can show you. So, Novo Pen 1, 2 and 3 couldn't do half doses, they just did full doses. So this is actually my very first insulin pen as well. This is the Novo Pen 3 Demi. The Novo Pen 3 Demi came out in 1999. So when you look at the other pens that are after this, you'll see that it doesn't have the kind of sleek design. It's almost like matte, if that makes sense, like a matte finish. And it's orange and blue. I'll just show you a close up now too. So Novo Pen 3 Demi, made by Novo Nordisk. This is the dial. It has no memory function. That doesn't come in until future pens. So if we open it up, you'll see that it has capability for a vial that fits 300 units. And if we open it up to take it apart, individually, this is how the three pieces look. That's the lid. This is where the vial goes in. I actually have a vial that I'm going to demonstrate now as well. This here is obviously what drives the vial that pushes it up to get the insulin out. One thing that I hate about this, so for the other pens in the future, you'll see you can just push this down to get it back to the start. For this one, you have to literally wind it back. So you can definitely see that it's kind of more old fashioned. Today, I have a vial of Fiasp. So I'm going to actually put it in here to demonstrate, but this Novo pen wouldn't have had Fiasp in it before because Fiasp wasn't invented at this point. It does fit in, however, nicely. So this is how it would look. The vial would be in like that. And then here is the pen put together so we can see the Fiasp vial is in here. Needle would be attached on here and this is where you dial up. And the great thing about this one is it actually did do half doses. So you can actually hear for the first time as well the clicks. That's a new feature on both this one and the next pen that I'll talk about before that. Insulin pens didn't have that click, which is very useful because a lot of times people who are diabetic can have vision impairment. So if they can't actually see it, how are they going to know how to dial up their insulin pen? So that was a major advancement in that you could hear the clicks and you can hear when it's going back. 
so that you know that you're actually dialing up the right amount. But this pen was really good in that it had half doses and I used this pen for a very long time. I actually don't know when I changed off this pen, but I also had, I don't have it with me here, but you could get a kind of an extra thing that you put on the top and it would be an auto injector. So instead of having to dial up and then push the button to inject, you would just press a button on the side and it would inject it for you. Uh, I think I might have it in my parents' house, but it was an attachment that went onto the pen. And I did use that for a while because when you're first injecting, you put it in and then you have to push it. It's kind of like scary when you're just diagnosed. So you could press, you could put this on, put this attachment on and you just have to press a button and it would auto inject. So yeah, that was an extra feature on there. So that was the Novo Pen 3 Demi. I don't know why this Demi one came out from the Nova Pen 3. If you do know, let me know in the comments. This came out between the three and the four, but I still keep it and I still actually bring it on holidays as a spare, just in case. And the case was very flimsy. It's just a Velcro case like this. It didn't have the proper insulin case that you're gonna see next. So it's definitely old school. And in between the Nova Pen 3 and the Nova Pen 4, there was the Nova Pen 3 Demi that I just showed you. But there was also a new pediatric insulin pen called the Nova Pen Junior. I never had this one, but I'll show you a picture. And the thing about this was it had childlike designs on it. Like it had kind of spaceships and rockets or there was other designs that you can get. And it was in nice colors designed towards children. So that was the Nova Pen Junior and it did half doses as well. The Nova Pen 3 was released in 1992, then the Nova Pen 3 Demi in 99, the Junior came out in 2003, and then finally the Nova Pen 4 came out in 2005. So between three and four, there is a big amount of time that there wasn't another Novo Pen as such. I have one here today to show you. Again, we have a like velcro pouch now obviously it's much bigger so this in the three demi it's kind of just loose inside the pouch whereas in the next one for Novo Pen 4 although it's in a pouch at least it had a holder so you could actually put it in and you could put in your background insulin as well so let's get out the Novo Pen 4 so this is when I feel it really starts to take on the Novo pen design, the like sleekness and the blue color because a lot of the Novo pens are in blue or red. We look at the bottom, we see that we still have no memory function at this point, but the advancements of the Novo pen 4 was that the display is much larger to see the numbers. You look in comparison to the three Demi, you'll see exactly what I mean. These numbers are way smaller. The display is much bigger now. I think it's four times bigger and the numbers are bigger as well. Four actually had a lot of advancements. So another feature of it was that it had less injection force to actually inject. They reduced that. So we'll open up the pen to show you inside. So we would twist, pull this out. You can already see that that's, it's not as like old and stiff as the three Demi. So for demonstration purposes, we're gonna use Fiasp, although I would have used Nova Rapid. Put it inside there. And then this is already wound all the way down, which makes me think it was one that you just push back together instead of having to twist. And simply twist it together, it clicks in place. And that would be the Novo Pen 4 insulin pen. That's how it would have looked. A huge safety feature was made on the Novo Pen 4 as well in that you couldn't dial up more than what was left in the vial. So for example, if there was 20 units left in the vial and you were taking a 25 unit dose, you could do that on the Demi Flex or the Nova Pen 3, 2 and 1. It wouldn't tell you that you're actually trying to inject more than that's left. So you would think you've injected 25 when you've only injected 20. Huge safety feature on this was this wouldn't let you do that. So if you tried to inject 25 and you were dialing it up, it will stop. And that's a feature on all the Nova Pens after the Nova Pen 4. So if you're dialing up like this and you got to 21, it would just stop and it wouldn't let you go any further. So you'd know that you only had 20 left in your vial and that you'd need a new vial. Which is a huge safety feature, definitely a big improvement. Also, I don't know if you can hear it, but the clicks are there too. Now this Novo Pen 4 doesn't do half doses. So like the Novo Pen 3, 4, 5, 6, they're all pens that only do single units. Anything in between like the Demi or the Junior or the Echo or the Echo Plus are the half dose pens. So bear that in mind if you're looking at an insulin pen. I actually really like the design of the Nova Pen 4. I love the blue because it's such a like dark blue. I really like it. And I think 
this pen was the one that had the biggest improvements made on it the other pens had a few improvements definitely getting a bit better but this one it definitely i think if i i think if any of the pens besides smart pens this was probably a key pen that was made because it has all the safety features it has the clicks bigger display it's nice and sleek and yeah i just think this is when they really started to get good okay so now we're moving on to 2010 and we're talking about the novo pen echo which if you've watched my channel before it's been my pen for a few years i've only recently changed pen in like the last few weeks so this is my this is my favorite pen that's why the case is so worn out and really old looking i've used this for so long i absolutely love it so we will open it up as i mentioned before echoes and echo plus and demi and junior pens are all half dose pens and they are designed for children. I don't know why they say they're designed for children because why can't an adult like me want a half dose to like really fine tune their blood sugars? Why does that have to be for children? I don't know. Like I understand that children are very maybe sensitive to insulin and need that exact ratio, but may maybe I do too. So I don't know why they market it like that. So the Nova Pen Echo was released in 2010. Uh, I think I got mine. I don't even know. Like I feel like I've had it such a long time. I feel like maybe since around then like honestly could i have it 10 years not this exact pen but just a nova pen echo in general i feel like yeah like 10 years so that's a pretty long time to have that style of pen so it shows you how good it is it comes in blue or red i've never had a red pen i've always had a blue pen i don't know why like anytime i've just always had that and this has a really game changer function and also the Novo Pen 5 that we'll talk about. So the Novo Pen Echo was released for the half doses and the Novo Pen 5 is the full doses. And the feature on both of them is this memory display function. So remember up to this point, for example, here's the four, the bottom of the pen just looks like this. Now, don't know if there'll be any doses on here to record, but if you pressed in, you would see. So I did do a whole video on this. If you want to go and look that, I'll link that in the description, but you can see when you press into the bottom of the pen, the memory display function says the last time I took an injection, I took three units. And this dial all around here is like a clock. So obviously I haven't used this pen in a while. That's why the clock is full. But for example, it would have been between like 12 and three. If there was those dots, it would be three hours, then six hours, nine hours, 12 hours. So it has a 12 hour memory capability. I did find this extremely useful not even the time of the pen but just looking that you did take your insulin dose so many times where you just automatically take your insulin when you're doing it multiple times a day that you don't realize have i taken it or not so that was so handy to go back and press that again it opens up very easy this was the part that pushes the syringe you just push down i did use fiasp in this before so i know it works with fiasp looks like that real nice pen and it also has the clicks as well as the half doses. So yeah, that was definitely a really, really good pen. And like I said, I've only recently changed to a new pen. And if you saw my video a few weeks ago, you would have seen that. And I did mention when I was talking about the Echo, the Novo Pen 5. So here we go, Novo Pen 5, open it up. It's very similar to the 4, I think. I don't this one has like a matte finish the five whereas the four is nice and sleek personally i like when they're kind of shiny but maybe people like that too but they're very very similar the difference being that it does have the memory function on the five as you can see there besides that like the display is the same size these both don't do half doses but the five does have that memory display so if we click it yeah it's been a long time i actually don't know if i ever used this pen because i always like a pen with half doses but it would have had the same function as the novo pen echo you would press in it will record your last dose that were taken and it would have the clock feature around it to see the time of the last dose taken yeah it's very similar to the four you have the clicks go up like that you put your vial in there i'm not going to do it for this one because i think you kind of get the point that's the safety feature again so does the echo i should mention that that ever since the nova pen 4 there is that safety feature where you can't dial up more than that's in the vial yeah the nova pen 4 came out in 2005 then the echo came out in 2010 and then the nova pen 5 came out in 2015 so i would say a lot of people watching probably have either the nova pen 5 or the echo 
and yeah they're great pens honestly like i really do like the design when they get to this point ever since nova pen 4 when they take on this design it's really really nice now we are very advanced in the last pen that we're talking about so this is the pen that i'm using at the moment and it is the novo pen echo plus and there's also the novo pen 6 both of which are smart insulin pens so i did do a whole video about the novo pen echo plus i'll link that in the description if you want to watch that because you'll get more information in that too but here we go so ignore my traceba obviously that's my background like i said this is my actual pen that i'm using at the moment it looks honestly exactly the same as the Novo Pen Echo, except you can see on here it says Novo Pen Echo Plus and has this kind of symbol, which is the smart pen symbol. The Novo Pen 6 and the Novo Pen Echo Plus were both released at the same time. The 6 being that it only does full doses, the Novo Pen Echo Plus being the half dose version of that. I think the Novo Pen 6 can come in blue or silver and the Echo comes in blue or red. And these are smart insulin pens. For anyone who doesn't know what that means, it's basically an insulin pen that links to an app. So either the Libra link for Freestyle Libra or Gluco for Dexcom. And when you take your insulin, it actually records it on the app so that you don't need to remember. You can just go into the app, have a look at when you last took your dose and it will have all of the information there. These pens are so new. I think they were released in 2022. It's 2023 now. I've just got my Novo Pen Echo Plus. And I love it. And again, some features of the pen. It does have the clicks, like we said. I actually need to change the vial of this now, so we're gonna do that. So if we open it up, we can see this is the FIASP that I'm using. This is how it looks, needle goes on there. This FIASP is basically finished, so we're gonna change it in this video now today. Display here, that does the half doses. The big feature of this obviously being that it's smart, so that once it's set up, it links to your app and you can record your dose there but it does have the dose memory function too and that has also improved so if we click in you can see the last dose that i took was my breakfast two units and i took it one hour 36 minutes ago i love this this is so much better that it has an actual digital display with the numbers down the bottom because let's be real like here's the echo on my right and this is the nova pen echo plus this is hard to decipher sometimes the clock whereas if you just have a digital display that tells you the exact time like 1 hour 36 that's just so much better so i really feel like that was a huge advancement and in terms of how they look you can kind of see i don't know how well you can see it on the camera but this the nova pen echo plus has a much larger memory display than this on the nova pen echo and i think that's because definitely has something in here that makes it be able to link to your apps like your Libra link or your Gluco for Dexcom. So while we're just here, we will change the vial for FISP. So simply twist it off. This is the part that I keep talking about. So remember when I did the Demi, we have to wind that down. It literally just falls back itself now for any of the pens after the four. Take out the old FISP vial, put in the new FISP vial like this. Screw the pen back together, then lid on and it's ready to go. So where's my case now? I put it in my case with my Traceba and I love the Nova Pen Echo Plus. Honestly, any of the smart pens are really great and you can get them for free now in Ireland. I hope in other countries you can as well because definitely start to make life easier just being able to look at it on an app or even just on the pen itself and seeing the actual time that you last took the dose. So they are all of my Novo pens. So you can see when we go through the pens and through the history that so much advancements have been made. Even the things that you don't see, like I was saying about putting the clicks on the pen or having that safety feature that you can not take more than is left in the vial. Obviously, the nice sleek design since the Novo Pen 4 um, is the kind of style of the Novo Pens now. And we got better cases nowadays than we had before. And then obviously, smart pens now are the way forward. They're going to be the future. I would see definitely, I guess we're going to have a Novo Pen 7 and Echo Plus Plus or something, I don't know, in the future. And we'll see 
what more things they have, what better features. Let me know in the comments anything that you think would be good on an insulin pen as well, because I'm trying to think now, but now that they have the smart pen and the memory dose, I think that's really good. Maybe a thing could be like on the Libra app, you have to actually tap the pen off the phone to get it to sync and have the data on the app that you shape in the dose. Maybe in the future, you don't even need to do that. You just have the pen and it just like automatically updates like the way Dexcom does. That's something to think about. Oh yeah, before I finish up, I found one random pen that I honestly never used my whole life. It's a Sanofi pen, so I'm honestly not even sure what insulin would fit into this. Probably Nova Rapid. It does look like that. It's called Junior Star. Has anyone ever used this pen? I don't know where I got it from. I feel like maybe my parents went to like a conference when I was younger and they were handing out promotional pens i don't know because i had to get all of this from my parents house because i only had the echo and obviously my new echo plus smart pen here so yeah so these are all my pens i'm really happy with them now i think pens are doing great in the way of mdi i hope you liked the video if you do please give it a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll see you all in the next video Bye.